Okay, so relative motion. Relative motion. The most important thing to realize, so go ahead, copy that the little part, the blank one. So the most important thing to realize about relative motion is that it only happens, it only happens if you have more than two, and get used to this word in any physics course, observers, okay? Observers, okay? By the way, observers is just a fancy word for, in, physics, in a physics setting, for any object in the system, okay? An observer does not actually have to be a person, like an actual living uh, person, you know, observing the situation. As long as there's an object that we assume there could be an observer inside of it reporting to us, that's called an observer, okay? So you need at least what? You need at least how many observers for a relative motion problem? At least how many? Three. You have to have more than two. You have to have more than two, which means three or more. Could I give you a relative motion problem with 10 observers? Of course I can. I will never do that. I'm always going to give it to you in what? In what? The minimum number, which is three. I, there was absolutely no more physics to be taught if you have four or five or 10 observers. Three does the trick, so we're always going to keep it to three. Okay? So more than two observers, three or more, are involved in reporting the motion of a specific single object. There's the issue of perspective. Can someone tell me another word that could also stand in for perspective? Also starts with a P, you know? Point of view, exactly. Was that the same one as well? Yes, point of view, okay? Everyone, every observer potentially could have what? A different point of view, okay? However, so, so, so this simply means that two observers, two different observers can see, I gave you three words for see. I can use the word see or what? It's in your notes, see or perceive, perception or report, okay? So, sorry, record, yes. Uh, different ways in which an object behaves. But here's the thing. Since everyone is reporting from their own perspective or their own point of view, technically everyone is still correct, even though the reported numbers could be what? Could be different, exactly. That's the whole idea. I'll give you an example, okay? Everyone, pencils down, just look at me. Okay, so Josh, just, okay, face me, just look at me here. All right. Um, so, okay, am I moving right now? Is everyone, any one of you moving? All right. So. I'll move and just tell me how fast and which direction, so basically what my velocity is. What's my, okay, in paces per minute, uh, sorry, in paces per second. How many steps do you think I was taking per second? One, so what was my velocity? One step per second, in which direction to you this is all what? East, okay, that makes sense, right? Okay, so did all of you see me the same way? No, no, forget the 3D idea. Did you all see me move the exact same way at the exact same pace? Yep. Okay, Josh, get up. Stand by the, uh, the recycle bin right there. And now I want you, both of us, to walk towards each other at also what? One step per second. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so we met. Did you still see me move the same way as before? Did you see me move the same way as before or slightly faster? Right. Why? Because you yourself were what? Yet, am I still the same object from before? So you report one pace per second, sorry, one step per second, yet you report what? Twice. Twice. Why? Because every step I take, you also what? Take another. So it took me what now? It took me less time to reach you than what? Than before. Is it making sense? So the perspective stayed the same or changed? Changed. But did I change? Thank you. Awesome. So whether we go with Josh's report of Mr. Ramadan's speed, or sorry, speed, let's say, was two steps per second, or anyone else's, which would be what? You're correct. He's correct, because they have to do with different what? Perspective. Our, I, our whole idea today is to relate those what? Is to what? Relate those to? Perspective, or three or four, depending on how many observers are reporting. Okay? Awesome. All right. It's obviously much easier as a concept, but we will see how to do it actually in a math set. All right? So after all, the object, me, is the same with the motion, with one motion uh, that is taking place the whole time. Okay. So, everyone, pencils down. Let's do the same animation that we did in grade 11. Okay. So, what do we have here? How many observers am I showing so far? 
I'm showing one object with the person, so that's one single observer. Okay. Now, by the way, when, when I actually reported, did I tell you to tell me what my speed is or what my velocity is? You said, which means what directions are what are not important or important, which means everything has to have a grid with it. Okay. So let's say, let's say that this person has this grid with it. And by the way, just so you know, it has to be the same grid followed or, or basically um, possessed by all the objects. So what I mean is, if I add another object to this mix, it cannot have a grid where, for example, north points this way or north points this way. Do you see what I mean? All of them, think about this way, all of them have the exact same crosshairs. And it doesn't matter how you walk, it's always what pointing the exact same way. Make sense? Has to be the exact same geographical grid. Okay, so one observer so far. All right. How many observers so far? Do we care that there's a person inside the car? No, we will always assume there is one to observe and record and report. Okay. Um, again, how is the grid with this one? Different or the same? Same exact grid. So we're not going to sketch it because we have it just once and we know all of them are the same. Okay. Observer number three. Okay. Is that enough for relative motion problem now? Because we said the minimum number is? By the way, question. Why do you think it can't work with two? Actually, why? Okay, let's take it even worse. Why do you think it can't work with one observer? Why do you think if the only person in the entire walking mix was Josh? Think, okay, go ahead. There's only what? One perspective. You always need a perspective, another perspective to run it by, right? Like to, to be the, what the, uh, the, like the other reporter. Why can't it work with two? Why can't it work if only me and Josh were the one what, doing the motion? Because who's going to decide who's right? Is it making sense? Why could it work with three? Because there's always going to, what do you call a person who always makes a decision? Tiebreaker. You always need a what? A tiebreaker. And a tiebreaker is involved or not involved? And now, which means what? A tiebreaker is standing on the outside. And how many people at least are standing on the inside? Two, two or more, counting three total. Is it making sense why we need three? Because we need a tiebreaker. OK. By the way, tiebreaker, I like to call it what? I like to call it absolute observer. Why do you think I'm calling it absolute observer? What's the opposite of absolute? What's today's lesson? What's the title of today's lesson? Relative. The opposite of absolute is what? Relative. What does absolute mean? When you say something is absolute, what does that mean? What's another word for absolute? Final. Or what else? OK, you're getting there. Absolute value. Absolute means what? Non-changing. Relative could what? Could change. That's the whole idea. OK. All right. So how many objects do I have here? Three. Let's see how they move. All right. Some of you in grade 11 will remember how this one looks like. All right. Same grid, same grid, same grid. All right. Everyone? 007. Anyone in the suit is 007. Question, did both of these people see the car move the same way? Again, forget the 3D perception thing. Did the car move the same way as observed by both of them? Both of them saw the car move in which direction? It went from here to here. So to both of them, it moved what? East. And did they both see it move the same exact speed? So to, should they both report the exact same velocity? Great. So if we listen to this person, the velocity of the car, go ahead, copy this one now. So the first situation is two observers are not moving and only one was moving. So the velocity of the car was five meters per second. That's your speed part. East is your direction part. Question, everyone, how would this guy report the motion of this guy? How would this observer report the motion of this person? They were not moving, so that means what? He would say that the velocity of 007 was what? Zero meters per second. But technically, since we're saying velocity, we also need a what? We need a direction. So since it's zero, we also what? Make it the same direction in the problem. OK? How would 007 describe the motion of the car? Would, again, would he describe it differently than the 
The other guy, you're the same. Okay, great. So now we know how to say all of them. Go ahead. So the velocity of the car was five meters per second heading east. The velocity of 007 was zero meters per second. See, I made a mistake here. I should add the word east. So one second. Oops, sorry. East. And then 007 would say the velocity of the car was five meters per second east. Okay. Was that the first situation I did? Yes, it was. What was the second situation I did with Josh? What did I tell Josh to do? Move. Now we're going to make how many objects move? Two. All right, everyone. Let's see what's going to happen. Same initial setup. Ready? Did it now take the same time for the car to reach 007 or shorter time? Because both of them were what? The distance was shrinking between them at a faster pace. Okay. Now, everyone, what do you think the guy in white is going to report the motion of the car? Is it different than before or the same? The car. It's the same. So we should also say what? What's the new motion of the car according to the absolute observer who did not move? Five meters per second heading. East, all right. How would that person, the guy in white, the absolute, Mr. Ground, who doesn't change, report the motion of 007? Five meters per second, but heading which direction? West, perfect. How do you think 007 now is going to report the motion of the car? Okay, before you answer that, everyone, 007, when he moved here, he kept this grid with him the whole time. So how did the car move according to this grid? East, right? I, I, it doesn't matter that he was moving his grid. It matters that the car, to him, was going sorry, this direction, east. But what's the speed now? Is it five or more? How much more? How much do you think? Five plus five is how much? Basically, it now takes half the time to reach him. When something reach half, sorry, when something takes half the time, what does that tell you about the speed? It doubled. It doubled remember, fat, shorter time, higher speed. So if you half your time, you actually want to double your speed. Yes. So the new velocity, there we go. Go ahead. 10 meters per second east. Okay. That's all well and good. But how could you actually write the mathematical equations for this? Okay. All right. So let's go now to the third slide in your, in your, in your handout. Okay. So. Everyone, pencils down. Can someone read the first subscript of the first velocity? Velocity of what? Car. And then what did I say? As seen by. Everyone, get used to three ways of saying the same thing. You can say as seen by. You can say, what's today's lesson? Relative to. Or you can say what? According to. I will use the three. Most of the time, I'll either use relative or as seen by. So. Velocity of car as seen by 007. How many objects are mentioned here? Two. But we have how many in the problem? Which object is missing from uh, the subscript here? Say again. The white shirt guy, right? So what does that mean? Everyone, look. Look at the screen. Once you know which two objects are used and which one is missing, that missing one becomes literally, at least in this case, the middleman connection between them. So the way to actually look how it actually what finishes now. What did I start with here, everyone? What did I start with? Right, sorry, right here. What did I start with? So what did I start with here? 
Okay, what did I end with? What did I end with? What's missing from here? Where is it placed? Right where? Exactly. That's it. Every I, by the way, I just taught you the most important concept of what? Of relative motion. If you know these two, you literally know how to fill the whole thing. Okay. Can someone tell me what is the velocity of the car as seen by the watcher? The watcher obviously is the guy in white. By the way, uh, just so you know, we're doing the second situation. Everyone, we're doing the situation where both of them are what? Both are? Both are moving together. Okay. I, I know, no, no. I don't know. Because technically, we could be discovering the first motion. But it's not that interesting. The second one is. So, uh, Jinan, what's the velocity of the car as seen by the watcher? Five meters per second. Which direction? Good. Can someone tell me what's the velocity of the watcher as seen by 007? Okay, before you say that, um, okay, everyone, pencils down. Let's use uh, Josh as well. All right. Josh, I want you to, okay, I want you to stand uh, right here. I want you to hold, everyone, eyes on me and Josh. I want you to hold this as you grid. Go ahead. So, where's your north? North? Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right. Everyone? Eyes on us. You don't move. I'm going to move. Okay. Again, north, south, east, west. All right. Josh, tell me which way I'm moving with respect to you. I'm moving west. How many people agree? Raise your hand if you agree. That Josh sees me or perceives me or feels me move what way? Which way? Okay. Is he moving? But does he look like he's moving with respect to me? When you drive, everyone, when you drive and two cars drive at the same speed, does it look like it's moving to you? But is it moving? Okay, how about if you're standing and it's moving? Is it moving with respect to you? Are you moving with respect to it? But in which direction? Exactly. So you see me move which way? I see him. Okay, let's not say move. I see him. Get further from me, but which way? Do you see what I mean? The problem with people is usually they actually study relative motion. Look, everyone, facing each other. This would be a problem, right? Because then, okay, Josh, move this way. How do you see me move to your east? Go ahead, keep going. I also see him move what? No, no, now, east. That's wrong because I'm facing him. You see how I flip my grid? No. I always have to what? Keep the grid the same. Is it making sense now? Never flip the grid because then everything is screwed up. Okay? Thank you very much, my friend. So that means how does the watcher, sorry, uh, the velocity of the watcher as seen by 007. How does 007 see the watcher move? Again, how, okay, everyone, how did, the watcher see 007 move west. So how is the 007 going to see the watcher move east? You got it. Are my directions lined up? Can I just do the math now? What's the final answer? Say again. 10 meters which way? Isn't that what 007 saw the car move as. Yes, 007, 007 saw the car move faster towards him at a pace of 10 meters per second. This makes sense because 007 now sees the car moving towards him at a faster pace since the distance between them is shrinking faster than before. Yeah. Everyone, can someone tell me how many ways I could change these? How many ways? Can you write two things here? How many people took data management? Seriously, how many people took data management? No, seriously, this is a data management problem. You know why? How many objects do we have? How many do we choose each time? Remember Fonseca, three, choose two. How many, yeah, you thought that I can't relate that to physics? I sure can. How many, okay, A, B, C. Choose, choose two of A, B, C, go ahead. A and C, all right. Choose another one. 
B and C, two choices done. Choose another one. She chose A and C, he chose A, uh, B and C. B and A. Okay, everyone, the problem with choosing A, C, A, B, or B, C is whether you choose A, C, or C, A, it really shouldn't matter, right? But with relative motion, do you think it matters? Yes, it does, because you see me differently than I see you. Do you see what I mean? So how many choices are there? How many? Six, A, C, and C, A. A, B, and B, A. Uh, B, C, and is it making sense now? So there are six things I could ask you for. But do you now know how to finish the whole thing? Yes, you can, because you can just what, put the end and the beginning and then sandwich in the middleman. Awesome. So, uh, okay, let's do another one. Let's see which random one I chose now. All right, I need someone to help me with that. Who would like to finish this one? Raise your hand if you'd like to finish this one. Ali, go ahead. And tell, tell me how you thought of it. Tell me your thinking process. Go. OK, so say in. So you're saying that the first one should be car 007. How many people agree? Keep going. What's the second one? Why did you choose 007 to start your second one? Why did you choose 007 to start your second one, second blank? Who, who, can, who can actually say why he correctly chose 007 to start this one? What's one way you can say the reason? Amar? No. Oh, what do you guys have? Oh, then sorry. My bad. I think this, oh, this, oh, I made the same mistake in grade 11. Sorry. But how many people agree that Ali's thinking was still correct? He was still. He nailed it. Okay. So, uh, Ammar, what do you guys have? A car seen by? 07. All right. Oh, then. Oh, okay. You, okay. Sorry. You make it watch. My bad. Oh, I copied the same slide twice. Okay, I get it. All right. Okay. Who can say? Then, why does 007 have to start here? Because who is missing in the, in the original one? No, no, th sorry, I mean this one. 007, whoever is missing, does it go on the edges or does they, do they go in the middle? Exactly, that's how Ali thought. So, uh, let's do it. There we go. Car matches with car. Watcher matches with watcher, and whatever is not here must be the linking device. All right, now I have a question for you. What's the velocity of the car as seen by 007? By the way, everyone, do you see how confusing it has to be said? Raise your hand if you understand what I mean. Do you see how I'm saying it opposite? Who's seeing who here? Who is seeing who, or what is seeing what in the first one? No, no, I mean here. Exactly. So never think of it as car sees 007. No, 007 sees car. But it is the way to be written. So tell me how 007 sees the car move in the second situation. 10 meters per second, which direction? You're right, east, east. According to his grid, it was moving east to him. So everyone, whatever is below here, as Jinan perfectly said, it has to be 10 meters per second east. Okay, who would like to tell me? Velocity of 007 as seen by the watcher. Or how does the watcher, guy in white, see 007 move? Raise your hand. Uh, Ali? Sorry, five meters per second east. East or west? West, there you go. All right, what do I do now with the direction? One of them needs to be what? Flipped. Which one do you always flip? The bigger one or the smaller one? Why? Because then the bigger positive wins. 
Think about it, everyone. If I, if I can flip this one, no problem. But that will be what? An overall negative, which means technically at the end, you still have to do another flip to clean up your answer. No, always flip the small one, because then you still win a positive right there at the end. So what's my next step? 10 east minus 5 east. Yep. What is that? What's 10 east minus 5 east? If, if it's east, oh, uh, sorry, if it's the same direction, I'm done. I just have to do what the numbers tell me. Sorry. Is that correct? Is that how the watcher sees the car move? Yes, because it did not change between the first and the second situation. This is the essence of what? Of relative motion. But was this problem so far 2D or just 1D? Because everything was moving along what? East, west, east, west, OK? So by the way, I'm mostly going to give you what kind of problem? 2D. By the way, I'm not going to give you ever 3D, OK? I mean, it still could be done, but it would be very hard to what? Very hard to what? Show, what? Show a sketch or a diagram. And by the way, even in first year, rest assured, they don't give you 3D relative motion. They could. But they don't, OK? We're going to stick to 2D and sometimes 1D. OK. So what's the mathematical formula now? So whenever you have A, B, C, because that's what you need as far as what uh, the observers, the mathematical formula that relates how three different observers, A, B, and C, may perceive the motion is the following. There we go. Go ahead. Write that down. By the way, did I have to choose A and C on this side? No, I could have chosen A and C, C and A, A and B, B and A, B and C, C and B. I just chose A and C. Why? Because I like it to read A, B, C here. That's all. So V of A as seen by C is V of A as seen by the vis invisible B, and then B connects again to C. You will never have to write it like that. This is the way to understand it as a storytelling. But you will never have to write like that, because why? Because we're physics people, which means we're math people, and we don't want to write too much. We want to write as many symbols as possible, not words. So what's the way to actually write this in grade 12 physics and grade 12 calculus and vectors? Just take the words out and keep the capital letters. Please use uppercase letters, OK? And by the way, everyone, I'm, I'm using generic ABC. What should you use in any problem, generic or specific? Please use layers that actually what reflect the, what the problem. Like, for example, car, you see, uh, P for person, and so on and so forth, OK? There we go. Look how they're lined up. AC, which means what? This one connects in the middle. First is first, last is last. And that's how we do relative motion equation. OK. Give it in a second. OK? All right. Everyone, by the way, before I go to the worksheet for today, make sure you understand this. Look, there are no words here, which means you have to understand. How does this one read? Not, not what? Not A, C, C. Do you see what I mean? Because you might actually think, oh, it's A, C, C. No, it's A as seen by C. So always know that this. It's just a condensed version of this very detailed way. Okay? All right. 